just a quick look at some of the exercises that we have here in Chapter 4. I went into Cengage and I did a screenshot of what is expected of you to answer for Exercise 4-1. The significance of this exercise and why it is so important as a base before moving to other information in the chapter with our adjusting entries one of the pieces that we must recognize is what are the normal balances for our accounts. So that's what exercise 4-1 is wanting uh, you to understand. We have recognized that we've got a worksheet and on that worksheet we're identifying uh, the, the various pieces along the way in our recording process. Uh, the worksheet will show us a tr trial balance, adjusted trial balance, income statement and balance sheet and applicable information. <coughs> Within each of these boxes you'll be indicating if that item is included on in that column or if it is not. So let's just take a look at their assets um, I do want to make a clarification. In the textbook, they have an additional two columns in between the trial balance and adjusted trial balance. Those columns are labeled as adjustment columns with a debit and a credit column for them. They've left those off. That's why in the textbook they are green. Uh, maybe another color for them would have been gray or red that you're not working with them rather than green which to me means or indicates a go. So uh, going back to what are what are you doing here? It lists an item and the first item is an asset and the normal balance for an asset is a debit balance. So here on this worksheet you'll answer yes to a debit, no to a credit. It does appear on the trial balance and now you're designating if it's a debit or a credit. It will appear on the adjusted trial balance as well where the normal balance of an asset account is a debit balance. Will it have a credit? The answer is no. If there's a credit to ca excuse me, to our asset, it will appear in the transactions themselves. So that's why you're answering what is the normal balance for the trial balance, what is the normal balance for an adjusted trial balance. In these income statement columns you're identifying is that, is, does an asset appear on the income statement and the answer is no. So both of those will show as a no. Whereas an asset does appear on the balance sheet the normal balance for an asset is a debit, so that's why it's labeled as yes. If it has a yes in one column, it will have a no in the other because that would not be the normal balance. So moving to the next one with our accumulated depreciation, is it on the trial balance? Yes, it is. The normal balance for accumulated depreciation is a credit balance, so you'll answer select yes for this one, but no for the for this one. Is it on the address to trial balance? Yes, it's an account, so it will appear the normal balance for accumulated depreciation as a contra asset is a credit balance, opposite than a normal asset. So it would have a yes here, but a no here. Is that contra asset on the income statement? The answer is no. So it, it will not be either a debit or a credit in these columns. It's on the worksheet. On the balance sheet, does it appear on the balance sheet? The answer to that is yes. So we'll either have a yes here on the debit side or on the credit side. The normal balance for accumulated depreciation is a credit balance. So you will select yes here and no here. So just giving you an introduction to that, we recognize that actual account names would be listed on our worksheet, but we're just getting the theory and recognize that this would apply to any asset 
The reason accumulated depreciation is listed separately is because it is a contra asset. On our liabilities, that could be any liability, account payable, note payable, bonds payable, and you will indicate where is that normal balance. Is it a debit or a credit? Does it appear on the income statement or the balance sheet? The same with our capital account. It is a single account and our drawing is a single account, so you'll be thinking what's the normal balance for that type of account? Our revenues, we can have a variety of revenues, rent revenue, interest revenue, uh, fees earned, <coughs> etc. Uh, and so any revenue account, but it will follow the same theory going across. What's the normal balance for a revenue account? So you'll select yes for that as a debit or a credit and no for the other one. Same with our expenses. Could be any number of expense, actual account names like advertising expense or insurance expense or supplies expense, etc. In this net income, it's not going to appear on the trial balance or the adjusted trial balance. As we're going to see, that net income figure shows on the income statement and the balance sheet accounts. If it's a net income, then it would increase our equity, as we're going to see in a later chapter. Um, it would show here in our balance sheet as a credit, thereby the debit would be over here on the income statement. Important part for me is to get a clue as to do you understand the proper, um, as a debit or a credit, that we will not have both the debit and the credit for any account selected as a yes. Of course, if you have questions with this, don't hesitate to ask.